Well, it was certainly an emotional day for me today. Uh, right now I'm back down at Camp 2, safe and sound, but woke up this morning at Camp 4, tantalizingly close to the Everest summit, <clears throat> but needing to turn around due to weather. Um, very, very, very hard call. Uh, certainly a few tears were shed, um, being that close to my goal and not being able to get there, but um kind of made me reflect on all the different setbacks <clears throat> that I've had so far and beyond 7-2. You know, I had to turn back to Maconcagua the first time I tried to summit, and with all those delays that were happening on the North Pole, there was uh, often a time when a May 14th summit at Everest seemed like dream dreamland. So, um, you know, most important thing, I'm safe and sound. I was talking to Pesang Bodhi. We were sitting there looking up at the summit. We're watching all the wind blow on it. And I said, what do you think? And he said, no, nah, this is one of the days where you lose your fingers to frostbite. So that's enough uh, putting into perspective to realize that the mountain's still going to be there. And, uh, you know, best thing to be safe and sound. And we got pounded by the wind all night long, probably 40 mile per hour or more wind uh, the whole way. So I imagine going up all the way to the summit and that would have been pretty tough. So <clears throat> anyways, um, back down, safe and sound, regrouping, resting. Um, already scheming on the next summit weather window, so stay tuned on that, but could be heading back up already again in the next couple of days. Um, so we shall see. Uh, most importantly, to rest, recover, um, keep my mind in a good place, and uh, keep believing that I'm going to get there and achieve my goals. So thanks to everyone who sent amazing messages to me of support, even when I had to turn back, and uh, those are the types of things that keep me going, uh, even in the hard times. So crawling into my tent early tonight uh, here at Camp 2 to get hopefully a very long night's sleep and uh, regroup in the morning and see what the next plan is. So um, onwards from here.